It can be a dizzying day for parents, salty or sweet. Every kid here wants a mouth-watering, super-sized treat. Kids these days, they love the junk. They really tend to like the stuff that's got food coloring and more than like 10 ingredients that I can't pronounce, so it's an uphill battle. I just love it! Everything in moderation, right? Problem is, that's not happening. A new study shows the number of obese children and teens in this country keeps going up. In the late 70s, about 5 out of every 100 kids was obese. In 2004, that number more than doubled to 12. Now it's up to 13. Add to that, another 20% classify as overweight based on their height and weight. Dr. Mark Tremblay studies childhood obesity. He says like smoking, the consequences can last a lifetime. Physical problems that we see here at the hospital, mental and emotional problems that increasingly are being seen here at the hospital and I think is, is really the tsunami that is yet to come. We bring back play. The rising number of obese kids also begs the question of whether programs over the last decade have been working. Certainly no evidence yet that they're reversing the level of childhood obesity, which of course ultimately is what we want. Aside from public programs promoting healthy habits, many point the finger at parents who often feel strapped for time. I would suggest make time for it. It's like a, an RSP invest, it's an investment in yourself. If the trend continues and children keep getting heavier, doctors warn we may be raising a generation of kids that won't be as healthy or live as long as their parents. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.